Hello everyone, this is Nanya Bish and I am currently a second year student at IIT Kanpur pursuing DTEC in Civil Engineering. And today we have with us Aditi Maurya and she is from IIT Kharagpur and she is currently pursuing an integrated science course in chemistry. So over to you Aditi, could you introduce yourself a bit? Yeah, thank you. Uh, hello everyone, I am Aditi Maurya, a pre-final year integrated MSc student from the Department of Chemistry at IIT Kharagpur. Uh, also, I have been uh, doing my micro specialization uh, in artificial intelligence there. Right. And uh, yeah. Okay, great. So my first question to you is that uh, what made you choose this branch during your own JOSA counseling? Or in other words, if I ask like, what were the other branches that you rejected to choose this one? Yeah, so in my first year, like when I have to go for the counseling, uh, I had options for, from other engineering branches like which we consider as like lower branches because right. of the cutoff, right? right. Like right. metallurgy, met material sciences and other stuff. Right, right. And uh, all those branches as well as some of the core branches from uh, the newer IITs. Hmm. Since I thought to do uh, my PhD from chemistry because I like chemistry at that time and I thought ki I should have go for the PhD uh, in right. future. Right. Yeah, that is why I chose chemistry there. Okay, great. So, uh, what is this branch basically all about? Uh, if you could explain in layman's term. Yeah, so basically there are two type of uh, branches which uh, targets chemical, chemis, chemistry and chemical, right? right? So once, one is uh, chemistry and one is mm -hmm. chemical. And chemical engineering, right. Yeah. So, if you uh, see the basic difference between both, so in chemical engineering, we target to optimize the method of chemical technology in industries so right. that is mm -hmm. about optimizing the chemical right, right. Uh, right and chemistry is more about synthesis and uh, research so mm -hmm. if you want to do research you have to go for the chemistry and if you want to use uh, those research results into the industry you have to right. go for the chemistry right uh, basically chemical engineering is a more industrial approach basically the applications yeah. that you study and this is more research oriented yeah, yeah, yeah. Research. Awesome. So, uh, what were the major courses and electives that you studied so far in this branch? If you could name a few. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, basically, in uh, five-year integrated MSc, you will uh, you have two types of elective. Basically, one is elective, uh, which you can choose from a pool of subjects which uh, your institute provide, right. and that consists yeah that consists of a lot of other branch subjects as well, like. You can have some subjects from the computer science, from electronics, electrical also. Right. And there is another type of subject, uh, which is breadth selection, where uh, we use uh, these breadth as, uh, like we have some of the breadths like HSS breadth or uh, this uh, marketing breadth and others breadth, where you can choose some of the subjects from there. So right. the main right. thing of having elective and breadth is to uh, let the student complete their minor or micro if they're mm -hmm. pursuing it. Uh, mm -hmm. course of five right, right. yes yeah, so i did have uh taken some of the electives like big data analytics and data analytics ai foundations application etc right so uh like my next question to you is that how tough this branch is to study in your opinion and do we only like have more theoretically oriented courses in this branch or like do we have equally technical approaches courses as well yeah so uh in this particular course uh it is a mix of both theoretical and chem analytical chemistry. Right. So, yeah. So in this semester, in the seventh semester, we had the computational chemistry where we used to apply simulation methods and other uh, structural methods to find right. the molecules. But there are courses which also have like cramming approaches like, you know, organic, inorganic and physical chemistry, which at the end of the day, you have to cram a few concepts. But since they are logical as well like if you find the logic you are able to apply it as well so okay. yeah and the co the whole course is basically consists of a lot of analytical as well as theoretical approaches right. for balance between the two right right uh, that's really great to know about it and so my next question to you is that uh, do students also have an option to pursue a four year bs course in iit kharagpur for this chemistry like if they want to pursue a four year course and then after completing those for that four year course can they like uh, convert it or change it into an integrated course as well yeah so uh, till 2020 uh, right. the five 
integrated MSc course was a compulsion for every student. Right. Like you have to do five year course. Hmm. But from 2021, uh, they have uh, they have they did this that they uh, uh, break down it into a two type of courses. First is four right. year BS where you have to do four year BS. Right. After that, you can apply for the one year hmm. MSc. Okay. So, right. Yeah, the MS will also from your core as well as there is one MS which is uh AI specializations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. AI as well as your code. So this right. is so a student can opt for any of the courses like according to his or her interest. No, 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 not any type of courses like uh, the masters from their own department right. or a specialization in that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you think which has been introduced. Right. Right. So uh, moving on and talking about internships and placements. So could you share your own internship experience a bit? Yeah, so my mo major interest was in the data science field. So okay. I did have uh, yeah, I did have done some projects and internships on the data science field and analytics field. So I have one foreign training internship at uh, University of Ottawa, okay. uh, which is on the natural language processing problem. Another was from the Indian School of Business, where also I have done some computer vision and analytics problem there. And apart from done some of the projects under the Department of Center of Education Technology uh, from our institute only. So that uh, requires the uh, theory of uh, basically by, uh, graph neural networks. And right, stuff, right, right. Basically uh, stuff related to data science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, data science. Right. So, uh, did you apply for this internship like uh, yeah. through your campus placement office or something like that, or it was like off campus? It was an off campus thing. Yes. Yeah, so, these internships which I have listed, these are the off campus. I, right. Uh, mm -hmm. I, and uh, the other thing, like in the next semester, I have my compulsory internship. Right, right. right. Okay. So, uh, great. So, talking about uh, placements, if we talk about placements, so what are the major companies uh, in both the core and non-core industry that come to offer jobs at your college and what are the roles that they offer? So, major pool of the company which come to the placements are mostly IT sectors and finance right. sectors. Right. In core, we have like majorly two companies uh, which actually not even target chemistry directly. They right. target engineering mostly like Piramal and uh, Dr. Reddy. Hmm. Okay. And what so are the, the roles major, that, right? Yeah, yeah. The roles which they offer are the uh, pharmaceutical role and uh, one is the analytics role, I guess. So right. these are the two roles they provide. Apart from that, they prefer chemical students over chemistry because that is more of an industry based. Right, right. As you mentioned earlier. Right. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. For chemistry people, uh, like they, most of the people who are targeting to go for the core, uh, they do their PhD, like they go for the higher studies mostly. Right. right. So if you talk about uh, the, what are the what are students from your batch preferring? So what's the ratio of uh, students going for higher studies and in for core jobs and non core jobs? Yeah, so in my batch, like uh, around eight to nine people out of 24 students, uh, right. they are for the core. Right. And apart from those, uh, others are non-core. But this is like a relatively higher number because most of the integrated people, they don't want to go for the core. Right. Because, yeah, you get to explore a lot of things hmm. in the campus. And right. you get right. introduced, introduced to a lot of stuff. So, but right. this is... Uh, a good number like around eight to nine people out of 24 are going right, to the core exactly right, right so i think that was it about internships and placements so moving on and talking about your own experience at iit kharagpur so far so how has it been to be an iit so far what's what how has your experience been if you could share with us yeah so basically iit kharagpur is completely different from other iits because we there is no city life outside the right. campus Right. So you have to just uh, sit in th that only cluster and you have to be with the people there. Right. So we have societies and uh, sports events and GCs right. and right. all IITs have. So like the major part of the students life goes from the uh, classes to the hmm. hostel and from hostel to their societies and right. other right. in. So the whole day was like that only and people rarely sleep at night. Like, right. That is only like the whole sum up of that. And the best thing was the illumination, which we do in the Diwali. Like, yeah, that right, is the right. very. Basically, that culture that you get to experience. In yeah, yeah. Right, right. 
yeah 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 the culture right right so uh, my next question is like actually really popular among the new students who uh, are willing to join colleges and choose their branches so the next question is that what should a student prefer in your opinion like should he go uh, he or she go for a better branch or a better college your take on this like that completely depends upon the people like if they are strongly believe, right. if this believe that they want to do their major in their computer science or uh, electrical engineering so right. in that uh yeah in that perspective they have they can go for the other college but uh, like iits like older iits they provide you a huge alumni connections as right well. right apart from that the exposure which you get in all the fields like like here like they, they, it doesn't matter if you are from a chemistry department or any other right, department exactly hmm. almost equal opportunity opportunity that are available right yeah exposures are there and uh, you get to know what how to manage your life from all hmm. so i would really suggest that if uh, someone is confused or even j doesn't uh, can never decide your like what branch you right. like because based on the physics chemistry and mathematics hmm. so totally. if someone get yeah if someone is getting uh, older iits or even iits hmm. they should go because the exposure they get are like lifetime exposure right they right like yeah. that is the kind of exposure they won't usually get at any other college so basically that alumni yeah. network and that um, the, as you said uh, said like uh, learning yeah. to work under pressure and everything that you learn there great yeah, yeah. so it was really great talking to you i think that was it for the interview just before going one last question that what is your final message to the students who might be watching this video Yeah, so basically the getting a branch in a college or getting iit is not the end of the life basically right. there's a lot more things which you have to explore if something uh, is not going in your way like the way you want it to be right. that is not the thing you have to just try and you have to get something because uh, there are a lot of things that are coming to your life right so right. end of the day that is how you perceive how you how you worked towards it and the destination is same for everyone so you just have to work hard and and okay. end of the day you will get what you want right that was a beautiful message for the students who might be watching this and i'm sure they'll learn something good from this interview mm-hmm.